I won't say I started dating my girlfriend because she can beat me in Mario Kart. But I definitely started dating my girlfriend because she can beat me in Mario Kart. For being completely real, most girls would rather do something other than gaming with their time. My girlfriend's no exception, other than she's super competitive. In fact, she's just stubborn enough to push through anything you put in front of her. I wanted to put that fiery passion to the test, so I cooked up a plan to see how she'd do against the great granddaddy of pain and suffering, Dark Souls. Why the fuck would anyone do that? One weekend, I set her up with a Dark Souls Steam key, a controller, and an empty house for an entire Saturday. Now, I'm not saying you have to play it, but it's here if you wanna, and if you don't, I'll break up with you. Just kidding. Uh, love you, bye. Uh, what could go wrong? I came home that evening to a very different place than the one I've left. I'm not kidding when I say the place was looking like New Londo Ruins. So, uh, here's the thing. I love Dark Souls, and I love my girlfriend. Things just haven't been quite the same since those worlds clashed. You don't need me to tell you Dark Souls is a great game. I'm just here to warn you about getting in bed with it. What? <sighs> Where do I even begin? It should come as no surprise my girlfriend plays a little different than I do. Okay, I guess we'll go with this one. I don't like that outfit as much, but whatever. I don't mean just spending three hours in character creation only to put a helmet on and never see it again. Wait, what? What I meant was something more like this. I think master key could be useful. Okay, what is the point of having a master key if none of the doors open? <laughs> Most people know of Dark Souls because of its difficulty. My girlfriend just knows it as the game with the You Died screen. According to her, this sound coming from my office subliminally means do not disturb. Come on, you're not an intellectual. You're a fake and a fraud. He's under a lot of pressure at work. What do you want me to say? It's addicting. If there's one thing my girlfriend loves more than anything in the whole world, yeah, including me, it's food. <laughs> Usually it just takes a couple of cracked eggs in the kitchen to get her to drop what she's doing. But in this case, she won't eat if she's getting her ass kicked. Fuck. You know, the whole, you go ahead and eat, I'm fine, where she's kind of okay, but she's kind of not. I'm fine! And you kind of know that, but you go ahead and eat anyways, and then you have to hear about it for the rest of the week. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. These are the landmines I have to maneuver to get her to take a break from this game for dinner. Oops. So where were we? Oh, right. After the painful first few hours, she wrapped her head around the mechanics and started playing like most of us do. <gasps> I'm cool. What shocked me the most was how closely she paid attention to all the memes and references over the years. Hello there. Uh, hello. I am <gasps> she had a steady IV drip of sun praising and soul's lore for most of our relationship. Couple that with looking over my shoulder through the years and she found herself getting a little overconfident. Bitch. Okay, a lot overconfident. Oh. What the fuck? Anyways, if you've ever played these games, you know how addicting the gameplay loop can get. As you get better, you start to die less. You become more cautious. Because of this, retrieving your souls becomes a satisfying accomplishment. It indicates you learned from your past mistake, didn't do the same thing twice. The system especially stands out when you're stuck on a difficult boss. There's so many opportunities to repeat a mistake. That's the thrill that always keeps you coming back to try again though. It also stands out because if you're trying to fall asleep, but every 30 seconds you get your eardrums blown out by it. No joke. This one time, I was laying in bed trying to fall asleep to the sound of poison down in Blight Town for what felt like hours. What the fuck is that? After finally falling asleep, I got shaken awake at like 2 a.m. And I had to be the bearer of bad news that yes, you do have to climb out of Blight Town now that you rang that bell. Man, poison sucks. <gasps> now I hate to come off as a complainer and I don't want to sound like I'm annoyed or anything. My girlfriend's ridden sidecar with me through a number of games and I get it. Not every game's for everyone. I enjoy when she watches because it's fun. Just chat, do whatever while I die a lot and she paints her nails. But I gotta give credit here when I say I never realized how monotonous the bonfire run can be if you're not the one playing. It's crazy to watch someone walk into a boss fight, swing their sword a couple times, die, and then spend twice as long trying to get back there. <laughs> Oof. We all owe a major apology to whoever was in the room the first time we played Souls. My bad, Mom. Enough of that, though. Let's get to the good part. How did Souls affect our relationship? Yeah. For starters, it made me realize what a dark and somber world the Souls series has. See, usually I'm the dark gray person, and she's like the little sunshine and color. With both of us on this Souls kick, youch. Afternoons were spent just kind of sitting around our home's version of the bonfire, occasionally laughing like the crestfallen knight. <laughs> of course, when I try to draw back the curtains and let in some of that gross incandescence, oh. I get a hiss and a- Touch the darkness within me. Uh, what? A woman of culture. 
I really went and opened up Pandora's box with this one. I never thought I'd hear the words deck scrub out of my girlfriend's mouth, but here we are. <gasps> Is this Princess Teddy Fuck? At the end of the day, I'm not in much of a position to complain anyways. She's been dealing with this stuff for like five years. Of course, now the shoe's on the other foot and I can't even handle a week. Hope I don't do something stupid like make a video about it. So if you've ever found yourself thinking, I wonder what it'd be like to date a Souls player. Let this serve as a cautionary tale. Turns out I learned a lot more about myself than my girlfriend. Anyways, it's been great watching her discover Dark Souls for the first time. Oh, fuck. She's a pretty kick-ass girlfriend for putting up with me. Love it or hate it, you're one of us now. Welcome to the Soul series. Hi there. You must be a new arrival. I am. I'm Andre of Astora. 